Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at how to make a confusion matrix with Carrot. Okay, the Carrot package is a pretty uh, well-known package used for machine learning in R. Okay, and a confusion matrix is a way of appraising binary classification procedures. So in a binary classification, what you have is uh, some variable that is either 0 or 1, true or false, yes or no, some sort of binary variable like that. And you want to use the data to try and predict outcomes for that variable, okay? So there's lots of very, very uh, interesting examples. So this might be sort of the type of thing that might be used to sort of appraise a logistic regression model, something like that. Now, I'm getting a little bit off track there. So essentially, binary classification, logistic regression, you could just sort of Google a couple of things like that, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up two data sets, X and Y, okay? Now, essentially, they're just a bunch of ones and zeros, okay? So I'm going to cross-tabulate them there, okay? And I have a 1,000 cases and so on. Now, I'm going to spe specify this as a factor. Now, the reason for that will become clear later on, okay? In fact, the reason for that is you have to be very clear as to which is the positive case okay so it doesn't automatically assume zero one you it's it's good to actually name it okay now so or be as specific as you can so there's a cross tabulation okay now i'm going to go with uh zeros as the um uh, negative case and ones as the positive case okay now actually the reason is actually that the um the uh, sorry that that's actually uh, I'm taking that out I, I got rid of that actually so the uh, the reason it will become clear shortly you have to actually specify what the outcome is okay uh, well you should specify it okay so anyway let's have a look at our confusion matrix here and just actually an important remark the predictions sort of go in first then the true values are here are known as the references. So for my little data set, X is going to be pred the predictions and Y is going to be the references, just because they're random data and that's, they're only for demonstration purposes, okay? Now, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify that the positive equals the case one, okay? So if you don't specify it, it will just uh, pick one at random to be the positive, or actually I think it's the first one it encounters in the data set, okay? Which is, so essentially that's a sort of, uh, can lead to confusion. So best, what, best thing to do there is actually specify it explicitly, okay? We'll have a look in a second at what happens when we don't do that, okay? So, uh, confusion matrix. So I just have to sort of reload everything there. I forgot to update package or put in the package there. So the carrot package is loaded up now. And let's just run through. You might just notice how quick that was, actually. That was very quick. Let's do that again, actually. That was really quick, okay? So, we're ready to go. Our data is all set up. We've got that carrot, okay, ready, and we're all ready to go, okay? So, predictions, zeros and ones, okay? So, predicted zero, predicted one. References, zeros and ones, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with confusion matrices, let's talk true, okay? So, this is 50 cases which are truly negative, truly zero, and also we predict them as zero, okay? So, that's 50 correct negative predictions, okay? Classifications. This is 604 pre correctly predicted positive uh, predictions okay so that's it is a positive and it's predicted as positive it's predicted as one now these are misclassifications this is a, a positive case that gets mispredict or this is 129 positive cases that gets misclassified mispredicted badly predicted as zeros okay and likewise the converse case uh, these are predicted as positives when they're in fact negative okay so we got quite a substantial amount of misclassification okay so i'll focus in a couple of key parts of this accuracy is how many cases we get right and as we can see there we get 50 plus 604 out of a thousand cases correct so that's not 0.654 and that beside it we have a little 95 percent confidence interval for that okay now there's a couple of other things there like the mcnemer test and so on uh, but what i will sort of focus on now 
are a couple of things here. Just for the sake of brevity, I will look at these here. Sensitivity and specificity are two sort of key metrics used in medical statistics. Okay. Now, uh, in machine learning, what you might be interested in is um, uh, precision and recall. Okay. So sensitivity is actually also known as recall. Okay. And this positive predicted value is known as precision. So this is the accuracy. This is the precision. So it's just under a different name. Now, there's a couple of other things there as well, but I won't get into them so much. Okay. Well, there, there are, this is sort of five minutes into this video already. So anyway, positive case is one. Okay. That's important. Okay. So what happens if you don't put that in? Let's take that out for a second. What happens when you don't put that in? All of these numbers are wrong. Okay. And you're thinking, or oh, reading through it, because that that'll be the same no matter what. But these numbers here would be, well, actually uh, wrong. Okay, or some of them would be wrong. Now, what happens here is, oh, positive class is zero. It's supposed to be one. What do I do? So you go back up here, and you just put in positive equals one. Okay. Now, ah, back back in action. There we are. Okay. Um, just actually, what is sensitivity and recall? Essentially, what we're doing here is we are getting uh, about two thirds and eighty percent. Sorry, three quarters and eighty percent. So about six hundred out of eight hundred and twenty-one, six hundred four out of eight hundred twenty-one, correct. And for for looking at, for the other side. It's many, uh, it's many correct, uh, correct values in the second row and second column, respectively. That's all it is. I won't get too much more into this. So, um, so if you want accuracy, precision, and recall, okay. Well, precision and recall, you can actually just pick out uh, without actually making the matrix positive predicted values, okay. X and Y, so you don't actually have to make the confusion matrix, okay? Now, here you do have to do this. You do have to specify that the positive is equal to 1, okay? So don't assume it'll work without doing that. Well, you're, you're leaving yourself as a hostage to fortune, basically, okay? So there we have our precision and recall, okay? Now, uh, this is something you might notice there if you're familiar with machine learning. There's no F measure listed there. So you have to basically make it yourself, okay? So uh, you just... It's not actually a hard calculation, so it'll only take you like a minute to calculate, not even a minute to sort of type that up. So if you need it, you can just take you about a minute to write it up. Uh, so that's our, our precision and recall, just like we have up there above. And from that, we can calculate the F measure, which is the sort of way of combining the precision and recall into one metric. And there you go. So it's not 0.77. Decent could be better. Okay, that's enough of that.